<laughs> Good afternoon, everybody. Thank you all for coming. Uh, it's great to be here. I haven't been here in a while, so it's great to come back. And today, today is actually very special. Today, I'm actually super excited because today, it's our time to share. It's our time to share with you something that we've been working on secretly for the past six years. Something that only very, very selected few have been let in. And today it's time. It's time for us to share this with you. You know, some of you probably know what we've been doing in the field of personal mobility, where we've been reinventing the wheel for wheelchair riders and bicycles, putting suspension into wheels, which is a great business and we love it. But this is not why we've come here today. Today we've come to say that it's time to share that we've been, we've been living a double life. Today, we're here to share that there is something huge. We've been working on something that has literally the potential of changing the entire industry, something enormous. And I want to share this with you. So I guess it's time for you to sit back, enjoy the ride. It's going to be fun. So it all started back in 2013. In 2013, my partner and I understood that automotive is changing. The entire auto industry is dramatically fast moving, changing. However, the basis, the concept, the car, is being built upon old concepts, some of which are 70 and 100 years old. Yes, there's been tremendous, tremendous improvement, and we'll talk about it in a second, but essentially, concept wise, it's still the same. So we said, this is what we want to talk about. We want to change that. But let's be honest. It was 2013. Israel was not yet known as auto tech power. I don't think anybody would have ever believed a startup from Tel Aviv has the ability to revolutionize transportation, the car. I don't even think our mothers did, to be honest. So we kept the secret and we worked. We worked really hard. At night, in a basement, we never had a basement, but it goes well. And we created something unique. And during the past years, we've been validating it, perfecting it, polishing it, secretly attracting all the talent, the best talent in the world possible for that. And in order for this, for me to explain to you what is it that we do, we need to understand and really go quickly as to the three pillars of the next revolution, right? And we all know that. Rideshare, electrification, and autonomous. I mean, it's mind-blowing. Rideshare is transforming everything. We share everything today. We share scooters, we share bicycles, we share cars together with Uber and Lyft. Transportation, deliveries with e-commerce. I mean, the AI behind shared mobility is devilishly smart. And it's driving everything. It's actually changing the concept of shared cars. This is the future. It's, it's, it's literally amazing. And autonomous, oh boy, autonomous, just go out, out here and see. I mean, today we've got words like radars, lasers, sensing, mapping. I mean, I've, I've read something that it says that today car is actually smarter than a jet plane. I still can't get over the fact that we literally have lasers coming out of cars. We call them later and it's all okay. But we literally have lasers in our cars today. I mean, the industry is amazing. And electrification. Electrification is amazing because we've been able to take a motor, an internal combustion engine, and take it out and put an electric motor in. Now, the electric motor itself is not new, but we had to develop a brand new battery technology to be able to sustain the mileage that we need to put it in a car. And here comes the question, why stop there? Because look at it, on the left hand side, it's a beautiful V6, that don't make them anymore, they're quite nice, used to be. And on the right hand side, an electric car. They're very much similar. Why? It's because of the same old concepts. It's still the same suspension, the same steering, the same drivetrain, powertrain, a bit different. 
And then we said, okay. And remember, this is 2013, so we do apologize for the simplicity. But we said, okay, let's tackle four what-ifs, only four. The greatest what-ifs. First one, modular. Why? You want to be able to create a platform that can serve them all. Because if you really want to have a platform that's going to stay here for the next 100 years, it doesn't need to only support today models or tomorrow models, but the day after tomorrow. So we need to think of a platform that can sustain everything, any model, any make, any shape, any size, any speed. And also it needs to be modular because if you think about it, it needs to make sense economically. The single biggest expenditure of an OEM is the design and validation of a platform. It costs billions and tens of billions, and each OEM has several. What if? What if you would need only one? That was nice in 2013. And we said, oh, yeah, that's probably easy. We'll move to the next one. And then we said, OK, what about more space? Think about it, how much unaccessible space you have today. All the space you've got under the hood of your car, under the car, under the trunk. It's not accessible to you. You're not using it, but you're literally carrying more than half a car to use less than half a car. But without those components, the car doesn't go. What if we can do better? What if we can make the same interior space with a much smaller footprint? Or... Vice versa, let's say you have a truck company. What if we can save the same footprint but allow you to load far more goods in it? We also wanted to make, to make it very energy efficient, goes without saying, and we wanted it to wait less. Because let's face it, we all want to wait a little bit less. So that came the point where we had to really rethink automotive. Rethink everything. Suspension, drivetrain, steering, braking, power management, motors, batteries, configuration. We thought over everything. And then came the point where we said, okay, now we have to restructure it. But you can't, you can't really restructure something that fundamental without reinventing it. And ladies and gentlemen, for the past six years, we've been reinventing the car. And it gives me tremendous pride to share with you today what we've been doing, and it's called RE. Thank you. <laughs> so what is RE? RE is a single platform to support them all. It can be the basis of a sports car going zero to 60 in less than three seconds. It can be the basis of an SUV. It can be the basis of a family car. It can even be the basis of a robot taxi or an autonomous high load delivery truck. All that on a single platform, one for all. Now, some of you might ask, okay, that, that's, that's nice, but why? why? Why today? What is so special about today? So first of all, it all started in Ecomotion 2013, so this is the stage that this has got to happen. Hey, come on. And secondly, because it's long overdue, and it's time for you to meet a very, very good friend of mine. And we call him Ri. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, please meet Ri. Shall we take it, take the stage?
And to think it was sitting here all day long and did not notice, eh? What is Re? Re, it's the only true flat skateboard chassis. Why is it so important that it's flat? Because it allows a full freedom of design. You can put any kind of car on this, anything. One to fit them all. And it serves all EV configurations, big or small, fast or heavy, without any compromise on performance, safety, serviceability, or comfort. We literally meet and beat all of today's standards with this. But this, although beautiful, is only half the picture. Because building technology is great, it's important. But execution is what makes the difference. The ability to drive this literally, on the market. And this is what we've been doing in the past couple of years, although being quiet, we've been building a very unique ecosystem with the world's biggest, best automakers, with an exclusive agreement with us to not only validate this technology, but to manufacture it globally at automotive scale and automotive grade. We don't know any other company that has that much backup exclusively today. And this is what gives us the comfort to say that we believe that the future is going to be powered by Rick. We would love to say, how are we doing that? We would love to share more, but we ran out of time. So, thank you for coming. Stay tuned. There is so much more to come. Thank you all.